Good evening. My life today for March 18th. The reading is entitled, I will set a watch over my lips. The scripture reading is taken from Psalm 141, verse 3. Set a watch, O Lord, before my mouth. Keep the door of my lips. In the use of language, there is perhaps no error that old and young are more ready to pass over lightly in themselves than hasty, impatient speech. They think it is a sufficient excuse to plead, I was off my guard and did not really mean what I said. But God's word does not treat it lightly. The largest share of life's annoyances, its heartaches, its irritations, is due to uncontrolled temper. In one moment, by hasty, passionate, careless words, may be wrought evil that a whole lifetime's repentance cannot undo. Oh, the hearts that are broken, the friends estranged, the lives wrecked by the harsh, hasty words of those who might have brought help and healing. In his own strength, man cannot rule his spirit, but through Christ he may gain self-control. Uniform firmness and impassioned control are necessary to the discipline of every family. Say what you mean calmly, move with consideration, and carry out what you say without deviation. Never let a frown gather upon your brow or a harsh word escape your lips. God writes all these words in his book of records. Overwork sometimes causes a loss of self-control, but the Lord never compels hurried, complicated movements. Many gather to themselves burdens that the merciful Heavenly Father did not place on them. Duties He never designed them to perform chase one another wildly. God desires us to realize that we do not glorify His name when we take so many burdens that we are overtasked and, becoming heart-weary and brain-weary, chaff and fret and scold. We are to bear only the responsibilities that the Lord gives us, trusting in Him, and thus keeping our hearts pure and sweet and sympathetic. Thank you for listening. God bless you.